Is anyone shot? Yes, two of them. Are they bleeding? Yes, I believe one's, one's down and one's still talking. You need to get here now. I shot two of them. Now I'm barricaded in my bedroom. What did you shoot them with? They are 15. That was a 911 call made by a 23-year-old man in Oklahoma. He shot and killed three suspects who broke into his father's home to rob it. The intruders, who were dressed in black, they were carrying a knife and brass knuckles. They were between the ages of 16 and 18. Now, the young man killed them with an AR-15. The getaway driver fled the scene and later turned herself into police. She now faces three counts of first-degree murder and three counts of first-degree burglary. With me now, former U.S. Army Special Forces Sergeant Jim Hansen. Uh, Sergeant, anti-gun groups are against citizens having guns like this AR-15. But it looks like this gun saved this guy's life, right? In that case, it worked exactly the way our Constitution hoped it would. You know, in a situation like that, you have to decide, are you going to be the person pleading for your life and potentially bleeding out on the ground, or do you want to be the person on the phone explaining to the police, I feared for my life and the life of my family, and therefore I shot the bad guys? I know which choice I've made. Did this young man do the right thing in this situation? Absolutely. I, the, the people who made the wrong choice were the ones who forgot to figure out that the Constitution gar guarantees our right to keep and bear arms. This person legally you know, exercised that right, and those folks made a horrible decision. Hopefully that will deter other people who think you can just scream into somebody's house, terrorize them, and not face any consequences. Could he have just shot them in the legs instead and not killed no. them? No, that's, that's a Hollywood fantasy. If you pick up a gun and you feel your life is in jeopardy, yeah. you should be trying to use that weapon to make sure you neutralize the threat. That if you try to do anything but that, you're taking your own life into your hands and the other person is the one who should be at jeopardy.